Hello everyone! Kumusta? I'm back and I hope that you are all well. I apologize because I haven't uploaded for two months because of all the things that happened. I was admitted in a hospital, someone in the family was also admitted in a hospital, and a close relative passed away. And all the things that happened. But that's life. We have to move on. And I'm glad that I'm back and I'm happy to share with you today my orchids. I will show you some updates and orchids in bloom. And despite of all the challenges that I had, I am thankful because I was still able to care for my orchids. I was able to water and fertilize them. However, I wasn't able to check on them one by one. And just recently, I've seen some orchids that are sick and not doing well. But most of them are okay, so I will start here. These are my orchids in our garage wall. They are in self-watering pots and I have a video on how I water and fertilize them. This is my Inobi Purple Splash and she is such a beauty. I have shown you this before when she was still in clay pot and in charcoal. She is also developing a new spike here. I repotted her in self-watering pot after I repotted my other mini dendrobiums in self-watering pots. And here's another pretty mini dendrobium and she has three spikes. I have a video when I repotted them in self-watering pots and I hope that you'll also check that other video. Look at the flowers! Cute kaayo! I really love this dendrobium. I love the shape, the color, and the size of the flowers. I will show you a comparison later. Here's the other mini dendrobium that I repotted in self-watering pot and sad to say that I think it is dying but she is growing a cakey and I hope that it will survive because it is very very small. Here are the flowers of my two mini dendrobium so that you can compare them. The other one is No ID and this one is the Inobi Purple Splash. I think it is a popular dendrobium. And as you can see, they are both pretty and you should have them. And here's the only complex hybrid Phalaenopsis that had bloomed for me. And I don't understand why, but the flowers don't fully open. The other Phalaenopsis that I have here, which had bloomed, I bought them with spikes already. And this one, I bought this as a near blooming size last year or last last year. I'm not sure. But I'm happy that this bloomed for me, so I think that my other Phalaenopsis will also bloom for me, maybe next time. And now, I will show you what's blooming in my garden. And if you are new here and if you haven't watched my garden tour video, please check that video so that you can see my whole orchid garden. These are my orchids in hanging baskets or hanging pots and as usual, the mini ayas are blooming. So let me just reverse them because they are facing towards the brightest part of the garden. Here they are and just like I told you, my two mini ayas are in bloom and actually, they are always in bloom. And here's to compare their flowers. They have different shapes, the same colors, but different patterns. And this is the other dendrobium which is also blooming here in my orchid baskets. She's a no ID dendrobium, but I named her as Purple Splash Mini. She's one of the dendrobiums which I showed you in my Potting New Dendrobiums video on how to plant dendrobiums in plastic pots. She is also growing a new spike here, another orchid which loves to bloom. This is a surprise. I just noticed this spike today. This is one of my tolumnias and I have a video on how I repotted them and placed them on our fence. 
These are my mounted phalaenopsis and my intermedia has two spikes. Some of you asked for an update about my phalaenopsis in Fern Slab. This is one of the two phalaenopsis which I mounted. I lost the other one but look at this. Moth larvae ate her roots and her first spike but she's able to grow a secondary spike and another spike. And the roots are now growing in our fence. Under my mounted phalaenopsis are my dinrobiums in our DIY wall pot hanger. One of them is spiking and I'm happy to say that the dinrobiums behind the vandas are growing well. Before, I water my vandas twice a day but it was too much for the dinrobiums so now I only water my vandas once a day in the morning and every time I water my vandas, these dinrobiums also get watered. I have an oncidium here which I repotted from self-watering pot to charcoal and plastic pot. My oncidiums got sick and I repotted them all in charcoal and I hope that this one will survive. It has lots of new growths and I hope that the growths will mature. Here are my vandas now. Some of them are in bloom and some are growing spikes. This one is growing a spike. This will be her first bloom and I hope that it will continue to grow because I have vandas which aborted their spikes or had bad blast. This one is blooming again. Her last bloom was 4 months ago and I have a video of her bloom in care. This is a large flowered vanda and the flowers are really beautiful. And this one is really, really pretty. I really love the flowers. I love the color, the pattern, and the size of the flowers. This is her first bloom. She's part of my birthday haul. Not fragrant, pero guapa good. Promise. <laughs> This is a rebloom and I showed you her first bloom in applying bloom booster video and if you haven't watched that video yet you are missing out that is the reason why my vandas had bloom. This vanda has strong soapy fragrance. She is very fragrant but not so pleasing to me. The flowers start peachy and then when exposed to bright light, they turn light pink. It's amazing. And this vanda is not a large vanda, so it is perfect for growers with limited space. Behind that vanda is my Junishanum. I transferred it here and she had already bloomed for me. I will just insert a clip of her bloom. And in here are my other vandas. This one is spiking again. This is my vanda with fire-like flowers. So if you want a vanda which will always bloom for you, look for this one and she will surely always bloom for you. This one is blooming again and I showed you her first bloom in my fragrant multi-flowered vandas video. I really love her flowers, especially the lip. This one is spiking again and I showed you her first bloom in the Applying Bloom Booster video. She has dark and fragrant flowers. And surprise surprise, my Mimi Palmer had already bloomed for me. She's one of my oldest vandas. She's growing keikis, very long roots, and at last, she had bloom for me. I will just insert a clip of her bloom. And this is one of my vandas which had bad blasts. Sayang. In here, this is one of my three cattleyas which I repotted. She had already bloomed for me. 
and she has an ingrown growth but I already addressed that. I will also insert a clip of her bloom. This is my Cattleya Asia Pacific. She never bloomed for me and now I think that she is dying. I thought that the browning on her bulb was normal and when I check on her again, all of the bulbs are affected or are brown. So I think that she will not survive. So sad. And here's my Cattleya Amazing Thailand, which I repotted from Cocohas to gravel or stones. The new growth had grown, but it did not flower. And now I think that this Cattleya had run out of ice. I think that the snail damaged all of the ice or the spots where new growth grow. But I still hope that this can still grow a new growth. And here are the Vandas that we potted in clay pots with charcoal. The Mukaras are really doing well. The roots continue to grow in the pot and even outside the pot. But I think that they lack of sunlight because their leaves turn dark green. And here's the other Vandas. Compared with the Mukaras, they are not looking so great. At the back of the garden, the side of our house, one of my Hoyas is blooming. This is the first time and this is my first Hoya to bloom. She is planted in a plastic pot, in a hanging pot, and in soil. She has more buds here. My ground orchids kept on blooming, they never stopped blooming and if only we have larger space, I would probably plant more of them. This is not an orchid, this is one of my epicias. I really love the flower and the leaves and I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam! See you on my next videos.